Hello, I've got Carl Dice, the Carl Dice in my house. <laughs> Carl Akanyant, we, we, we met each other at the SABS, I think it was around about 2012 when we bought our new flow products for SABS testing. And at that time, what did you actually do at the SABS? I was testing solar water heating systems, water meters. I've done a metallurgy lab and heat pump testing, especially solar water heating and then assisting in the technical writing of various building regulations and specifications. Did they fly you to Germany for testing or yes. for, for research? And how many? We, we went there based on a rebate scheme from ESCOM. Yes. And I had to go and commission and help with the final design on a solar water heating laboratory. And I went there and then part of the designers we had to study in Stuttgart for a while. Wow. And then commission it and then I brought it back. It wasn't functioning as supposed to be. They only designed it to function with one. After I was finished with it, it could test six systems at a time. Carl, how many years did you work for SABS? 24. 24 years? Yeah, as the technical specialist. For, uh, for piping and solar or for? Piping, plumbing, solar, metallurgy, chemical specialist, polymer specialist, and water meter specialist. When did you resign from SABS? No, I didn't resign. I uh, got, uh, went on pension last year oh. at 60 years old. Are you 60 already? Yes. I didn't know you were top. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, now I, I know in South Africa you've tested every single solar system that's known in the South African market. And, that and heat pumps. And heat pumps. Mm. And you've signed more rebates than probably every, any guy in the, 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 in the country. I was the only guy that can sign it. And I was the only guy, st technical specialist that a bureau ever had. Wow. Mm. Carl, I've just asked you the question because you, yeah, and your company is down doing solar because you've been doing solar since 2008. That was solar water heating. Uh, currently, I'm doing PV solar, battery backup systems and such and such. But the main emphasis was after I went on pension, I was looking for my passion. And this I do purely at my passion. I have passive income. But this is purely loving the game and it's working for me. It's not working for everybody. But for us, word by mouth is what's counting. Carl, now you told me the first thing I have to do at my house because Carl's coming to look at all of our, our properties and he's told me what I need. But you've said to me, Dion, load reduction, load reduction. To change a normal geezer, I said to him, Carl, must I go heat pump? Must I go this solar? Must I go that solar? And without a doubt... Carl didn't even blink and you told me I've got to go for? Heat pump. Heat pump. Mm. Please can you explain to people why heat pump is the only way to go? One of the reasons for the heat pump, if you buy a quality one, um, is to use a PV system and get off grid is only one way. Is to get a load reduction since the geyser is normally 35% of your hot water contribution of your electricity bill. So, but, sorry, Carl, uh, sorry, no. carry on and, and then I'll ask you the question. Yeah. So, you cannot go off grid if you take uh, not taking away the huge wattage that a geyser use, for instance, 3000 watts. So, you can not connect it to your PV system, neither can you connect it to your lithium batteries. It's impossible. The machine will trip, everything will happen. And with a heat pump, you also double up on your uh, water volume because you draw now water at the bottom, circulating the return hot on the top. Now you really clits the whole volume and you double up on your uh, volume, which you not normally get with a normal geyser. So you said to me now that a heat pump can use only 0.7 of a kilowatt, 700 watts, and even the cost of gas or the cost of, because uh, you and I haven't really debated gas. I'm just throwing this at you now just randomly, mm. but... Uh, if I'm going to put in a, a PV system with an inverter from you, which I'm going to do, there's no question to ask that to, to only take 700 watts, I'll be stupid to put in a solar system. I have to put in, according to Carl Dust, I have to put in a heat pump better than anything. I, I just wanted to confirm that. The problem with solar water heating systems, as, as you see all the millions and billions ESCOM spent on it, you have one heating cycle. So in winter, it's a problem. You have one heating cycle and you have to finish your bathing before banana on the start. <laughs> in the morning, you've got cold water. The only way to sort out hot water is 24 seven 
run your heat pump for three hours at 700 watts. Keeping in mind, the 700 watt heat pump is uh, spec for a 150 up to a 200 liter. It can run that. If you connect them in series, you have to go up to a 1,500 watt heat pump. That can do now 400 liters of volume but you can run it off PV. The secret of heat pumps is you can run it off your PV system. If looking at this future, you don't have a choice. Now to mm. come back to gas, if you really go and calculate the price of gas, you will see it's much more expensive than diesel. Plus you have the inconvenience. The gas runs out at the time you don't want to have it run out. Then it's replacement, phoning, Afrox, and whoever has to be done. But you cannot, nobody calculates the gas price at one liter liquid fluid gas. Mm. That's the problem. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it from the master himself. I don't think there's many other guys that have got the experience that Carl has. And Carl, I, I'm really grateful uh, to you and your colleague for coming. Uh, but you say to me, I'm dreaming because I'm wasting electricity. And, and I'm, you say that three phase aircon, I'm, I'm not going to get on my, on the inverter you put in, unless you put a 50 kVA inverter like at your house. Yeah, you can do that direction. But uh, the main secret of the heat pump is to do the load reduction. So first off, you heat your water at a third of the cost. So already you have a good, good saving. And already that helps you to buy a smaller inverter that won't trip so easily because you remove the wattage. If you yeah. don't remove uh, the geyser with a heat yeah. pump, your small heat pump will always trip due to the high amps and wattage that the geyser draws. Thank you, many advice. <laughs> Thank you.